In more local news now, a Nina man is facing charges, including reckless homicide tonight. This comes more than a year after court documents say he sold drugs to an Appleton woman and said she overdosed and died. NBC 26's Max Grossfeld joins us live tonight in the newsroom with details. Max. According to a criminal complaint, Evan Schultz didn't have enough heroin to sell Christy Austin last year around Easter, so he cut it with carfentanil. The DEA says that's 5,000 more times more potent than heroin. Austin later overdosed and died. Now her family wants justice. She's going to miss out in my life is like high school graduation and a son mourns the loss of his mother. Me, I recently became a manager at a fast food place, stuff like that. Just everything really. Now the man police accuse of selling Christy Austin the drugs, Evan Schultz, appears in court charged with homicide. It's so real just being in the same room. Anger, a lot of it too, so. Just really upset about it, you know, because we told him to stay away from Christy several times. Christie's fiance, Mark Heimerl, says he got certified in administering Narcan just weeks before her death. I was afraid that something was going to happen, and I thought that was a miracle drug, but evidently I was wrong. While she may be gone, Heimerl says he's worked with police to make sure Austin's not forgotten. I didn't want her to be somebody that just died, and that was the end of it. That's not what this is going to be. You know, we fought hard, and we got a long ways to go, but hopefully there will be some justice in this case. Meanwhile, Austin's son and daughter continue to adapt as time seemingly stands still. Struggling, I mean, even though it's been a year and two months, it feels like it's happened like less than a month ago. Heimerl says he acknowledges Christie's addiction and tried to get her help, but says they couldn't find any the family could afford. Meanwhile, if convicted, Schultz could face 55 years in prison. He's facing unrelated felony charges in Outagamie County as well. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Max Grossfeld, NBC 26. Thank you, Max. If you or a loved one is struggling to fight addiction, there is help available. You can call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Their number is posted on your screen right there, and that number is 1-800-662-4357.